Hello, uh, this is my Samsung freezer, side by side American style, excuse the mess on the fridge, uh, and it's got one of these little hatches here. Pretty cool. However, the dreaded alarm has been going off constantly. Now, when it does go off constantly, you're gonna to wanna to try and figure out what's causing it. Now watch the display. Hopefully, oh no, actually it's not gonna go out. What am I talking about? It's not gonna go off because I have this in my hand. This is a magnet that sits in here. I'm gonna pop it back in, watch what happens. So magnet's back in and actually it says switch on here if you can see that on your fridge. Display, two, one, gone out. That means it's working again. Now, you might have noticed as well, I've got to open the door to get the temperature back up. Look how warm the fridge is, 11 degrees. That's because when that little switch is not turning the light off and the alarm is going ding, 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 it also is it's telling the control board to not begin the cooling cycle. So a simple thing as that little magnetic switch not working is gonna stop your fridge freezer working. So how did I fix it? Let's go back up here again. So I've undone the screw on this and I lift it up. Be careful because there's lots of cables under here and your issue will be that, whoops, that there. Now that is the magnetic switch, which when it's on here, makes contact at a distance with that magnet there. See that? Now you can test to see if it's this by opening the fridge and getting a magnet. Take that magnet out and it pops out quite easily. Uh, you might have to push the tab back a bit and hold it against it. If the, if the light is going off and you're giving this a bit of a wiggle, and this comes out of here quite easily, it's only held in by these tabs, then your problem is more than likely going to be, and you can see what I've had to do here, to do with this connector switch. Now I'm going to buy a new one but for now I've stripped it back and basically just rammed it in there so that there's contact but basically that cable had come loose. That's all it is and that connect disconnects there. And that's how you fix it. Best of luck.